Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to convert from recursive functions to explicit and from explicit functions to recursive. For the recursive function, where the function evaluated at 0, we could say f of 0 equals 12, and f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus 10, write the explicit function. But what this is saying is that the <clears throat> when x is 0 or when um, the function evaluates at 12, so we know that would be like an x for a y-intercept. And <clears throat> to get the nth value, evaluate at the nth value, we go to the 1 right before it and add 10. So if, uh, an equation, an explicit function that adds adds 10 each time would be 10x plus whatever, you know. So that, this is the explicit function that matches this recursive function above. So if we have an explicit function, f of x equals 20x plus 15, write the recursive function. Well, f of 0 would be 20 times 0 plus 15. Well, that would be 0 plus 15, which is 15. And the function at n, you go to the one before it, and you add how many? Well, this explicit function says we're going to multiply by whatever the value, value of x is times 20. So each time x increases by 1, the function increases by 20. So I go to the previous value and add 20. <clears throat> f of 0 equals 9. And f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus 7. So I, I start at 9 and add 7 each time. Start at 9, add 7 each time. f of x equals 9x plus 7. So f of 0 is 7. And I go to the previous value and add 9 each time. So that's how to go from a recursive function to an explicit function and from an explicit function to a recursive function.